what I was doing during the homemade week was trying to translate the creative process around dance making into a Zoom space, um, holding on to ideas around composition. So underneath all of dance making is composition. And if I guess what I was really trying to do was figure out ways to translate compositional ideas um, into this virtual platform because I'm not really sure how to deal with the difference between the visceral and the virtual right now. So it's a little bit of an experiment for me, you know, the, the Zoom space versus the space that we live in, the space behind the camera, the space out our door, the space you can't see in my room, all that stuff is really interesting to me um, and what's going to happen. But also at the same time, just teaching dance making, which has tools, you know, and playing with different ideas that are arcane or super simple. Um, yeah, so that's what we were up to. We made little equations, little forms I would give them, and then they would solve them in a way through their own ideas and bodies in their own space. We were teaching and learning during an incredibly uh, emotional week in our country. And I felt like it was really, I, I know this is a bit meta, but it was really fantastic for me to be with people that actually they were completely aware of what was going on here and they were making dance. So um, the highlight for me was to have generative activities happening during a time of incredible anxiety uh, existential anxiety really and without pushing at all the idea of expressing the moment because I don't really think of dance making in that way I think of it much more coming in the back door um, I felt emotionally and more than not just emotionally there were other aspects too that I felt were communicating what was going on this you just can't buy or replicate, you know, when the world will put a lens on your work and it put a lens on our class. I felt issues of weight and time and shape, all these things were responding um, to the events of the world that were happening. Once we solved the problem of seeing each student in a bigger space than the little tiny boxes. Uh, that just was a technical problem that became just incredibly important to solve. Um, we found some really cool ways of using the camera. So in the live theater, our eyes are the camera. Our eyes are determining close-ups and wide shots. And, you know, you might be sitting next to somebody that's looking at some at the dancer's face and you're looking at their feet and another person is looking at the pattern of the 16 ballerinas in Bayadere. I mean, it could be we're all seeing different things, but with this Zoom business, we're actually cameramen and camera women in this case. And we are finding we're cinematographers determining what we want the audience to see. This is really exciting work, you know, so I was stimulated by that. Yeah, the emotionality of architecture. The emotionality of architecture surprised me. Um, at the potency of the rooms and the temperature of each room and the particular body in that room. <coughs> I have memories of um, a particular body in a kitchen and seeing their back and their weight against a counter. I have another memory of a very different kind of body on a ladder, um, another one against a wall. Um, there is a sort of an absorption into the architecture that is heightening the choreography. There's just no question about it, you know? So it's a whole other choreographic element. And it's, it's, a, it's almost like a subgroup of space. But it's so COVID. It's not just like, I know we've used the word architecture before in composition, and it's not just that. It's our bodies in 
uh, sheltering in place, you know, in lockdown, in, you know, what does this mean to the body? And we relate to our, our, our room differently. I think I wanted, I wanted to share the idea that dance still exists. Um, or I was exploring, I didn't really know if it does. And I was thinking about if it does. And if we can make dance together, if I can quote unquote teach something, if I can impart something deep enough for it to have an effect, I would call that teaching. Um, and dance is being made, the body is creating new material, um, then that would be a huge accomplishment because it can feel pretty deadly this, this year, maybe year and a half. Um, physically. So yeah, that's what I, I think. I didn't know that's what I was hoping, but it's what it came to be my hope is, wow, we're dancing, we're making dance, you know, and um, it's very life affirming. <laughs>